Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video. This is Brian from N Star Entertainment, and today I'm going to show you how to dial a old rotary telephone and how to replace the label on it. Because this one here says Pam on it. Most likely it was owned by someone named Pam, and that's definitely not my name, and I don't know anyone else named Pam, so we're going to be replacing that today, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, let's get started. Alright everyone, so let's get started. First of all, before we start, this all both of these phones are hooked up to this telephone demonstration unit. Basically what it does is it simulates a phone line and this phone here is would be dialed by type by doing 21, and then this one is extension 24. Alright, so basically what you need to do to dial an old rotary phone is like any phone, pick up the handset, and then what you have to do is instead of just going 24, you're not done yet. You actually have to put your finger on the 2 and bring that down to this metal thing, just like that, and then you can release it. Then do the same thing with the 4 up here. As you can see, the other phone is ringing, and our guest special person that showed up today can now say hi. Hello. Or we can just hang up on him because we don't actually want to talk to him. Alright everyone, now, as I already said, I don't know anyone named Pam, so let's get this taken off, and you could also put another one on, or just have nothing if you really want. So first thing you're going to need is you're going to need like a safety pin or a paper clip, anything with like a little pointy metal thing here, and then just put your finger on the zero and turn that all the way around there, all the way like that. Now it's very hard to see, but right about there, there's a very tiny, with this finger right here, there's a very tiny hole. Grab your thing, and if you stick that in there, you push it down. And you can pull that forward. Otherwise, that would be completely impossible to do. And now like that, you can lift this up and out. As you can see, that turns back. And there you go. And you know what you can do from there? Flip it around. It's easier to do if you use your tool that you had. Just pop that out. And take that out. So either you could take it out, put it in a new one, or you could just flip it around and use the other side. And then you could write something on that, or you could just stick it in there like that. And that is what we are going to do. So in order to put it back on, it's usually a little bit easier. So you need to get this stuck on there. It doesn't You don't actually have to be correct with it right now. That's obviously not how it's supposed to go on. It's a little hard to get it on there. Just got to line it up. Just trying to do that right now. Okay. Then you just turn this around until it is locked into position. Like that. And it is back in, and you have completely done it. 